Hey guys, welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Last time we were exploring a bit of the Chao world as we reset our Chao world to kind of, you know, coincide with this second half of the playthrough. And also we were working on getting the rest of the upgrades for the characters. And we got quite a couple of them, but there are still a couple that are left to find. So this episode, the plan is we're going to go ahead, try and get the rest of the upgrades that everybody needs. So... That means we gotta be going back into stages and such. I believe the only character that has every single one of his upgrades is Knuckles, because we got his Mystic Melody last episode, uh, and I think, I think that's it. <laughs> we got, like, Tails' like, shooting upgrade and stuff like that, but we didn't, like, we didn't get any other upgrades. So I need to go ahead, look up an upgrade path. I already know, like, where most of my upgrades are and stuff like that. But it's like, I don't actually know which ones are in what levels and stuff like that. Like, once I'm in a level, I know where upgrades are. At that point, I don't I don't remember. So, anyway, we gotta go first to Final Rush, all the way over here in space. <laughs> I'm going to the one place communism hasn't corrupted. SPICE! Anyway, we have to go here because we have to get Sonic's uh, fucking Mystic Melody here. So, I don't remember. I, I told you guys that I knew where it was. I don't remember. So, you know, <laughs> lies—they're all about. They're all around me. They're all around me. Either way, I need to figure out. Let's see. Um, okay, I think I know where I need to go. Either way, we're back in Final Rush. Pretty fucking awesome level, I would say. Also, I just pulled that off. I did not mean to pull off that really cool maneuver, but uh, I did. <laughs> I did that, so therefore, that's pretty cool. Damn, I'm just like, I'm just pulling off all the cool maneuvers here in Final Rush. Then again, Final Rush is like a really fun level. It's just like, damn, it's tough when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Let's see. But yeah, plan is, we need to go ahead and get the, uh, oh shit. Well, I need to restart. I need to restart. <laughs> I think I missed what I... Or maybe I didn't miss it, but it's like... I need to figure out where the hell that is. See, it's got to jump at the very end of that rail, and you get to do this really cool trick. Doink. Doink. But yeah, I'm also practicing to get, like, all the, uh... What's it called? Uh, A ranks in every single stage. So I was actually... I was... I think I talked about it, like, a couple episodes ago. If, you're, if you watch every single episode of my channel... You'll know that, like, I's, I've been, like, on kind of a hiatus for the last couple of days. I've been stuck at, like, home and stuff like that. So, in between, I was working on, uh, you know, getting really good at this game, or at least theoretically good. I'll say that I've been playing this game for my almost my entire life, but at the same time, it doesn't change the fact that I'm not great at video games. Oh, damn. Final Rush is just such a cool level, man. Sonic Adventure 2 is just such a cool game. <laughs> there's no there's no ifs and or buts about it. It's just cool. Let's see. Doink. I'm not here to get any cool scores. I'm just here to get to the point that I need to get to. Which I don't I think I might be getting close to it. I think I got every single one of the upgrades when I was a kid. I remember like getting like the uh, the Mystic Melody, the Magic Hands, all that stuff. So it's like I remember doing that. What's down here? Okay. But I need to find, like, two platforms that are, like, right next to each other. Ah, uh, yes. Rail switching! Okay. Sonic, you need to get over there before you die. <laughs> Sonic, no! <laughs> Stop coming. It's weird. We're... Oh, we're near where we were. Yeah, that's the one thing. Rail switching is not great in this game. Modern Sonic games do rail switching much better. It's a little bit inaccurate here. Don't worry, we got this. That's going to be a problem when going for the A rank in this stage. But then again, like you just saw, I can pretty much just jump to lower parts in the level just by jumping straight at them. So it's like, I can also just like skip a lot of this level if I felt like I didn't want to fucking do it. Anyway, uh, ooh, bird. Let's see, I do need to collect more animals for my chow. And I did find a name for one of our chows. It wasn't in the comment section, but I asked my discord for some extra names and of course some people gave me multiple names uh <laughs> it was mostly red but uh one of my other associates i guess 
gave me a name to give somebody, so I'm gonna give that to the uh, the hero chow that we have. My associates. Let's see, is this the right one? Yeah, it's the right one. Yeah, I'm looking for a very specific area. <laughs> I guess I don't know where that specific area is, but uh, I will find it. If I've already passed over it, you guys can just tell me, like, oh, you're being a stupid idiot. And it's like, you know, I know that information. I've been a stupid idiot since I was born. But, you know, that's not very helpful. You know, I need, you know, I don't like criticism. I love criticism when it tells me that I'm really good at things. But I hate criticism when it tells me I suck. How could you do this to me, viewer? How could you? Anyway, I need to kill all. All that oppose me. Let's see. Death to all that oppose me. All right, that ain't this game. We'll get to that game at some point. It's going to be a hell of a game to play that one. <laughs> that one's going to be so much fun. Oh, boy. We'll get to it. Let's see. Jump. I just... Have I already passed it over? I don't think so, because it's like... It's near where there's a bunch of rails. Like, a bunch of, like, swoopy, flippy rails and such. And I am nowhere near that. I just love homing attacking these, like, fucking rails that go upwards. It's like, damn, it's cool. Damn, you're cool. It's like, well... It's like, you don't actually get attached to them. It's just like, well... Sonic just knows to get on them. I have no clue how the fuck that works, but it, it does, and that's all that matters. Yes, yes, use the, uh... You, <laughs> use the grinding. Let's see, there you go. But yeah, like, I believe the Mystic Melody should be around here somewhere. <laughs> like, I always knew the Mystic Melody was in Sonic's Final Rush. I just didn't know where in Sonic's Final Rush. And somewhere. It's on the railing parts. I just, I just don't know which one. Let's see, is it... I don't think it's this. Nope, it can't be this. Because it's like, it's going to be where all the rails go fucking loopy, loopy, loopy. Living with Loopy. Living with Luffy, more like it. Oh, shit. Gotta love doing the somersault by accident. Ah, fuck. There you go. You have to, like, you know, grind that if you're gonna actually make it. Okay, it's not here. We're I think we're close, theoretically. I keep on saying that, and it's like, you know, I don't actually know. Oh, shit! It's right there! It's right there! You fucking piece of shit. I'm running out of lives. <laughs> I'm running out of lives. You know, I really need to, like, grind for lives at some point. Because, like, I don't have that many. But then again, I don't know a great way to grind for lives. I may have been playing this game my entire life, pretty much. But it doesn't change the fact that, like, I know little to nothing about, like, a lot of the really cool tricks you can pull off. That's why I've been watching, like, YouTube videos about, like, cool stuff you can do in Sonic Adventure 2. Because I'm just like, man, a game that I've known... Like, I think a lot of people are like that. Like, a game you've known for your entire life, but you've, like, known little to nothing about it. Okay, so, we're right here. Go ahead, take this rocket. This will drop us, like, right here. And then... I believe if we go up this direction, we're gonna go ahead and run across it. Doink. Yep, there you go. Mystic Melody. The Mystic Melody. Change the Mystic Melody in the action window, then press B to play Mysterious Melodies. Knuckles is way easier to get, but like, eh. Also, I don't know why they all get flutes, but uh, yeah. Just unlocks like random shit in the levels. <laughs> well, that's one way to grind for lives. Now I just have a couple extra. I forget. I think it's fine if I just leave the level instantly. If I didn't feel like completing the rest of Final Rush. Uh, I'm definitely not getting the A rank. Because I have like seven, 780 points. But that should give me the Mystic Melody. So, I think what's left. Um, we already got Tails' Laser Blaster. Did we get Tails' Mystic Melody? You know, I don't think so. Did we get Tails' Bazooka? Yeah, that was during the story mode. So I think Tails' is Mystic Melody is all that's left for the hero side uh, upgrades. Which means I need to go to Hidden Base. Because you gotta be based. At least I... Did we get it? You know, I don't know. <laughs> that's why I'm going to check. Ah, uh, yes. I would love to learn how to... I would love to learn how to uh, hover buffer, or whatever the fuck you call it, for uh, 
the mechs and stuff like that. I've never known how to do that. Oh boy. Come on. <laughs> oh boy. I've been out of practice with the uh, the shooting characters. Also, my upscaler is probably putting in some kind of like, you know, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? Input lag. That's what I'm trying to look for. So it's like, I'm not completely like how you should be playing this. These like fucking mech stages are probably going to be the worst ones to try and get all A ranks in. But you know, I can do it. I can believe in myself. You know, that's what Tales' of song is all about. I believe in myself. Do 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 I don't remember it off the top of my head. Believe in myself is not a Sonic song that I listen to regularly, but you know, it could be. It always could be. Let's see, just a little bit of trimming of the uh, trimming of the world. Let's see over this way. Okay. Nope, not close enough. Get on the pulley. I think we're close. You're gonna see it. You're gonna know it when you see it. And there we go. Just avoid platforms, because these guys can just, like, pop out of the fucking sand. You know, where were you guys waiting? Like, we're in an entire sea of sand. If I jump out there, I'm dying. So it's like, I don't know how you guys are okay out there, but... Somehow the military has figured out technology to go inside of sand. <laughs> to be inside of sand particles. I don't know how they did it, but they did. Let's see. Damn. Can you please die? There you go. I think it's right here. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm lying to you. Once again, the lies, they take over my life. That's why you don't lie. You just lie. <laughs> you don't lie, you just lie. All right, please die. There you go. Please die, Mr. Pot. I still don't know if we're close. Oh yeah, I forgot, all the animals are in here. I should pick up a couple. Because uh, I need to go ahead and make... Because the hero child we had had like a B in swim and a B in power. So therefore, if I give them like swim stuff... Because an interesting thing about chows is that if you go ahead and like... Well, I guess I, I guess I can't really explain it right now. Just for now, just know that we got to give them power and uh, fly stats and such. So... Just know that for now. At some point, I'll explain what all that means. But we technically haven't seen the point at which I would be able to explain what that means. Because facetism is my favorite thing. Tails is very angry that he has to do this. <laughs> all for a stupid melody. For a stupid melody he doesn't give a shit about. Then again, it's required to do a lot of the extra missions because... Oh, here it is. The mystic melody is very required in certain areas. Um, well, I have yet to run into this one location. Hmm. Um, I guess we'll see until I, until I, until I come across it. I'm just, like, still scared that I'm skipping over it by accident when I don't mean to. It's like, you know, I don't want to have to, like, go back through this level. Though I'm okay with the uh, the mech sections, it doesn't change the fact that they're also not the best parts of the game. I is it this? I don't think it's this. Is it this? It's probably not this. Even if it's my favorite game of all time, I can still admit when it's got problems and such like that. It wouldn't be my favorite game of all time if it was my pr if it was the best game of all time. <laughs> it's just my favorite. There you go. Pop up there. I made it to the goal by accident, <laughs> and I can't really retreat. What did I? What did I skip? Whatever, I guess. Like I can go back. I can do it again. I did it. <laughs> what did I skip? <laughs> cool. I, I beat a uh, fucking hidden base again with the lowest score possible. I did it, Sonic. That was an A rank. Okay, game. <laughs> I guess it wasn't a waste of a trip. Because at least I got an A rank in it, I guess. But that was so weird. I was like, what? <laughs> like, that was not my target? <laughs> you know, it's it's like they say. Like, you missed everything, but you hit everything. I don't think that's a saying. But, you know, it's my saying now. So go fuck yourself. Let's see. Go fuck yourself. Let's see. 
I'm also getting animals for power and stuff like that. And I think I already showed off the glitch in the last episode of how to, like, increase a Chow's stats, like, exponentially. Like, insanely exponentially. So it's like, I don't think I have to talk about that. But yeah, there's a way to reuse animals. You just have to... It would just be a good idea to always have a lot of animals on hand. Because it's like, you know, you don't want to waste that shit. What's in here? Oh, it's just an animal. It's just an animal! You fucking animals! What's in here? It's another animal. Yeah, I think I already have the ones I want. Because I've got a couple of swim ones. And I've got a couple of, uh... What's it called? Power ones. So it works out. It works out. Anyway. Oh, shit. Please stop shooting me in the bollocks. The thing is, where was this area? Is it like in a lower area that I skipped over from being on the high path? I'm just too good at this game to like, you know, play it like a normal person. It's just like, ah, fuck it, man. <laughs> it's like, whatever. Just play it like a fucking insane person. Like I usually do. So target onto everything and do real good. Do real good. Let's see, I have a feeling it was down here. Here, and I was just like, you know, avoiding everything. It's really easy to get points in this level if you can't tell. Is it down? Yeah, it's down here. Oh, okay. I, w I just skipped over it because I was too cool. Don't worry. I hit it. I didn't mean to, but I did. And change the Mystic Melody in the action window. So now we can go ahead, use the Mystic Melody. Everybody's got like a flute up their ass or something like that. Either way, that unlocks the area down here. How would you even get back? Oh, right there. Okay. Well, I got his Mystic Melody, so I don't... I do not really fuck of care. Anyway, I need to go ahead and head back to the Chow world, because I do want to name that Chow, so... Tails is going in there, and he's going to do what needs to be done. Of course, I need to make sure that I look up the name. So that, like, um... I could be able to, like, actually name it correctly. Okay. Don't worry, I have the name now. Either way, I need to go ahead and give the animals to it and such. Yes. It's going to look weird, but then again, looking weird is pretty normal here on the backlog. Mr. Mr. Chow, I need you to sit sit still. Because, <laughs> of course, I can't... To do the glitch, you have to actually have them sitting still. And uh, usually Chow don't like that. Okay. Okay, here you go. There we go. Activating the glitch. Really cool. <laughs> and as you can see, Chow... I don't know if I explained that before, but when Chow talk to animals, or, like, when they interact with animals, they will gain some of their, like, attributes. You see, that's when... That's why you bring multiple animals, because if they somehow glitch and start moving... You're going to lose the animal. Let's see. I'm making, I'm making him into the swimmiest man ever. Come on. Take him. Take him, you fat bastard. Oh, he threw him away. I mean, either way, it doesn't change the fact that I still got him. So, therefore, I can still make him come to use. This is how you make Chow real good. Of course, it's like using an exploit, but like literally anybody that plays Chow, like anybody that plays with the Chow, will always recommend this glitch because it's just so grindy. Of course, this thing can't walk yet. Damn, Tails, how in the shit did you catch that thing? Okay, Mr. Penguin, please. Mr. Penguin, please. I guess I'll try and go ahead and make sure it's at swim 10 before stopping this, like, process. Technically, it's helping out with other stats as well. It's helping out with fly and... just fly and run every now and again. Here. <laughs> of course, this Chow can't even walk yet, but he can swim like Michael fucking Phelps. Michael fucking Phelps. But yeah, this is when you get the glitch going good. I never, f I never knew this glitch as a kid, because when I had this game... I only had, like, a little small, like, fucking XP laptop, and I didn't even know how to use it. I didn't even know what YouTube was when I first figured out, like, Sonic Adventure 2. So it's like, I didn't even know this glitch was a thing. So when I played Chow, I had to play it, like, the fucking, the real way. In pain and agony. 
Also, don't pick up the animal until they explode in sparkles. Or else it doesn't count. Yes. Yes. You shall swim forever, young lad. Young lad, you shall swim to the sea. I don't know why I said it like that, but that's how it is. I guess I'm going for like maybe 20 instead of 10. I could get him all the way up to level 99 and swim like a fucking freak. But then again, I don't think I want to do that right now. Maybe I'll keep doing it until I get run up to like 5. <laughs> because a Chao will start like activating those abilities when they reach level 5. Like, a Chao normally doesn't know how to walk, it will only crawl. But once it gets run to level 5, it won't crawl anymore, it'll instead walk. Don't worry, little one. He also will know how to fly at level 5, I think. Of course, he has, like, no stamina. <laughs> he can... He's not here for, like, a marathon. He's here for a sprint. I don't know how the fuck we've got fly up this far just by using a fucking penguin. Penguins are flightless birds, you little idiot. The other problem is if Chow get in the way like fucking Swag King just did. We're going to mess up the chain. We had a really good chain going there. The chain gang. Sometimes you have to like do it a couple times to figure out the correct positioning. If you got a really good positioning, then it's going to be really cool. You can almost walk now, stupid. Just by looking at a penguin. Penguins walk most of the time, dude. Tails is just really good at catching animals. He's just he's just really good at that thing. He's got a great throwing arm. Or a great catching arm. He should be a wide receiver. So you can receive my dick. <laughs> I felt that that was a funny joke, and I hope you laughed at it too, viewer. It's because I'm a little bit off angle. When you're a little bit off angle... I just want to get him up to, like, enough run. He's going to be the greatest swimmer of all time, this little, this little shithead. Let's see. Come on. You're going to be the greatest swimmer ever. And also, a somewhat okay runner and flyer. Alright, awesome. So, you can have the rest of this. I don't really care. The other thing I need to capture are these things. These are tigers. <laughs> These are tigers, and they'll give power. As you can see, the little guy just started walking. So, uh, yeah. He's way more powerful than Swag King right now, apparently. So now, I need to give him these, because they'll give power. Could you fucking stop? It gets rid of swim. As you can see, some of the stats will go down as you use an animal. But they will never de-level. They will only ever just kind of, like, take down all the blue bars. So it's like, it doesn't really matter if you're trying to, like, <laughs> keep all your stats even. Because it'll never drop below the blue bars. Never drop below the blue man group. Anyway, I don't know how far to go with power. I have no clue. <laughs> I'm kind of just making... Oh, come on. He took it. That's that's the problem. Good thing I got a second tiger. I got Tiger Woods over here. You know, you got too close to the tiger, brother. The tiger game com. The ultimate portable gay. That's why you do the back... You do the backwards, like... Uh, he fucked it up. He took it. Well, at least, at least he did that. Eh. We can work on it more. Anyway, I petted you by accident, but we're actually going to go to the Chow Kindergarten. Because we need to give your ass a name. We need to give your ass a fucking name. And this name was chosen by uh, Spirit Rose Wolf over on uh, my Discord. I've actually collabed with him a couple of times uh, on YouTube and stuff. I've done Final Fantasy XIV streams with him, which is really fun. But I haven't done one in a very long time because I'm a lazy piece of shit. Anyway, we got to go ahead and name this piece of shit. <laughs> Yes, what is his lucky name that I'm not going to choose? Chang! No. No, I don't want a different name. Okay, so he wanted him to be named... 
Uh, let's see. I wanted him to be named... Chico. Which, I believe, if I remember what, Ro what Rose said to me, was... Um, uh, it means boy. Boy! And he wanted me to say it in a Kratos voice. Come here, boy. Boy. My boy! We can just... Nah, we don't, we don't do Kratos here. We haven't done God of War yet. We can call it my boy! This piece is what all true warriors strive for. My boy! Yes, Chico will be very happy, so... My boy is coming with us. Anyway, get out of the fucking house. Oh, he's so happy to be held by Tails. <laughs> He's like, fucking love me. Also, we should probably show off something. Uh, I don't know if this will actually work, but I think it'll be hilarious if it does work. We're going to the black market. I believe I've already shown off the black market a while ago, but this is like a... Like, a way to buy a bunch of items for your chow and stuff like that. So you can get, like, shit like fucking... Like, regular eggs, fruit for your chow, uh, seeds to grow trees fucking random things they can put on their head and stuff like that, but there's also a way to abuse this to the point that it will actually give me infinite rings. So I'm gonna buy this strong seed, and we're gonna go back to the, uh, the fucking thing. It also said collect more emblems if you want more rare items. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but I think I've already explained that, but if I haven't, the black market is a place where you get most of your really good chow items. Either way, we're going to buy the most expensive item in the black market, and we're going to take it back to our place. Not because I actually want to grow it. Go, Chico, go. So, you want to make sure that you place this away from, like, the chow. They don't actually... The only way you can plant a seed is by making sure that a chow has, like, shovels to plant it with, so they can't even do anything with it. But we're going to be using it for a reason. You know, we should probably use up this last animal that I got so Chico can have it. And, uh, Swag King, where's Swag King? Swag King? Swag King, you can have this. You're gonna be a run chow because you only have a good stat in run. So it's like, yeah, not really worth it. No, don't, don't connect yourself to the tree. I want to get the other fucking fruit for fucking Chico since he needs food. Good Chico. You'll take over the world, Chico. You're like a fucking tiger, man. He's a tiger ultimate gay. Anyway, so now if I leave Chow World, like completely, if I like fucking head out, if I fucking head out, <laughs> I said we were going to get upgrades this episode. I guess I lied. I just wanted to do Chow World stuff. Anyway, now if I leave and I go back in as fucking anybody, I guess we'll do it as Rouge because, you know, we got to see our boobs at least once episode, once an episode. It just isn't a real Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play without Rouge being there every five seconds. So now if I go back in and go ahead and grab that strong seed that we had, this I can go ahead and take back to the black market. Yes, we're, we're taking it right back because I want to return this shit. Uh, but something interesting will happen. Just let me go ahead. I've been watching a tutorial for it, like, for the last minute or so before I started recording. So I want to make sure I get this correctly. Look at look at Rouge's boobs. You can't even really see him. She looks kind of weird just holding that seed. So, let's see. Hmm? Is that something I can do? No, that's only possible in the uh, in the PC version. Interesting. So I don't believe I can use this glitch. The idea would be to like put it in to like the black market and then like switch settings around and stuff like that, and then come back in, quit out of the Chow World without saving, but it saves your ring total. So we cannot technically use that glitch. There must be some other way to get infinite rings in SA2, but, like, we gotta find a GameCube version of that glitch. I just want infinite rings because that's gonna be very important for, like, you know, getting a lot of the really good chow items. And getting more chow if I really cared. Uh, let me actually look up and see. SA2B GameCube. Uh, GameCube. Infinite. Money. Sure, whatever. Infinite money glitch. Let's see. These are like in the HD versions, but we want like a uh, a one for like the OG version. 
Oh, I'm watching a great tutorial. He's doing a, he's doing an infinite money glitch. Look at look at Rouge just fucking being sexy. I guess she's holding her tits. God damn. You need you need. Please, we're near the children. We're near the boy. <laughs> but then again, I guess this boy will become man, like the band. So I'm trying to figure out what the fuck he's doing. Okay, so. What is he doing? Wait, what the fuck did he just do? Okay. This man has 204,000 rings somehow. Okay. What is this man doing? Okay. Okay, so the glitch actually does work very similarly to, like, what we had already thought. So, but instead of switching settings, we'll instead reset the console. Which makes sense. We've already saved Chow data, and I haven't, like, messed with Chico or Swag King, so... There's nothing that I need to save, so if I go over and go ahead and sell back the Strong Seed... He was using, like, an eggshell, which only sells for, like, 50 bucks, so it's, like... It's not really worth it. This is at least going to sell for, like, nothing, but, you know. So sell that back. And then from there, you hit the reset button. Okay, hit reset. So now if I go back in and go back to stage select and go back to the chows... This should theoretically let me get all of the, uh... Or it should theoretically mean that I kept the, uh... What was it called? Strong Seed after selling it, but I made money off of it. I guess this would be a very, 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 very slow way of making money. Like, infinitely slow, but... You know, whatever. See, the seed's still here, and I think I kept my money amount. I guess we're gonna go ahead and see. But if I wanted to off-screen, I could go ahead and just grind up this glitch or find an item that sells for a lot more money and, gl and grind up this. But I would have, like, infinite rings, technically. Sure, I could get them in stages, but, like, it I have to play a stage to get the money. So, yeah, I kept the rings. Perfect. So if I just do it again. Or let's go ahead and back out of here so that it would actually save my uh, my ring count. Now if I reset, it should mean that I actually have more shit. Damn. I never knew this was a thing as a kid. But then again, that is very, very, very useful. So that's that's good to know. That's good to know. Either way, now that I have that working on, I can go ahead and uh, do the next upgrades. Of course, I know where one is immediately because we haven't gotten any of the shadow upgrades. So I'm going to go ahead back to Radical City. My plan is to try and get the rest of the upgrades, maybe. I mean, it might be a bit of a longer episode, but then again, Sonic Adventure 2, I can always play more of that. I can always do more of that. Let's see, the sad thing is that uh, Shadow never gets the uh, bounce bracelet, which Sonic does. And it's like, damn, that bounce bracelet would be really nice on Shadow, but, you know, it's fine. It is fine. I shall deal with it. I'm skipping you. If I want to go real fast. I'm just going really fast. Okay. Is it? Yeah, it's backwards. So if I back up from here, I can use the light speed dash over here. Flame ring. Yeah, he can get the flame ring. He just can't get the, uh, the bounce bracelet, which kind of sucks. But the flame ring, pretty good. Just lets you do the flaming stuff. So there's not much here. It's cool. I unlock that, and then I can fly over there, I guess. Boink. Anyway, from here, I can go ahead and just exit, because there's nothing else to get from there. I need to go ahead and look up the rest of the upgrade paths for, uh... What the fuck is it? For the... For the... For the fuckers. For the fuckers! 
Let's see. So we already have the air shoes for Shadow. We already have the flame ring. Do we have the ancient light? Huh. I don't think we have the ancient light. That means I need to go to Skyrail. Because, of course, he has many of the upgrades that Sonic has. I don't think he has any special upgrades that are, like, completely his own. All of them are just, like, copies of Sonic's stuff. So that means that I need to go ahead and go back to Skyrail and deal with this stuff. Yeah, I don't have the Ancient Light, whatever it is. is see, does this guy have power? Yeah, he does. But then again, that's not useful because Swag King's the one that needs to talk to all the bad guys. So I probably want to look up like a picture walkthrough instead of a instead of a uh, like a, a text walkthrough, just because I'm stupid and uh, you know I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm stupid and uh, I'm stupid. Okay, so now it's pretty close to the entrance. I understand now. This is a place where the bounce bracelet would be great. So from here. We're not going to get on to the rocket. I'm instead going to go over here, apparently. Okay. Ah, there's a fucking homing attack chain here. There you go. Ancient Light. You guys already know what the Ancient Light does. Though I don't think I've actually shown off its actual abilities. That's not what it's supposed to do. That's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> I don't think I've ever showed it off in our playthrough of SA2 because it's really not worth shit. But uh, I think I showed it off back in SA1, if you remember my first playthrough of all time. Which would be a very long time ago and you'd have to listen to me whisper the entire game. But, you know, it's fine. Anyway, um, let me see what else. We already have the pick nails. We already have the jet engine. Do we have the large cannon? I believe we do? I wouldn't have been able to get past without it. I have the light shoes. I now have the ancient light. I already have the iron boots. I think I think Eggman already has his uh, his protection shield. I can go into Cosmic Wall and see if he actually has protection armor. Get and confront those trespassers. Those bastards. Yeah, he has his protection armor. So from there, that means that we need to track down, well, most of the mystic melodies. And this thing is also required. So, um, I think mo there's only one more upgrade left for Eggman, and that's his Mystic Melody. Um, we should go for the ones that are... Actually, no, he's got another one. Let's see. Uh, we need to go back and not do Iron Gate. Weapons Bed? I think it is Iron Gate Bed. Iron Gate. Yeah, it's the first Dark Stage, so I know where that is. But yeah, um, there was a point in this level... Now we could have shot like a bunch of things and just couldn't do the fact that that happened. <laughs> just because we didn't have the ability to do anything with it. Boink. I'm not trying to even get like a good score at this level. I just really like targeting everybody and killing everyone. It was always so cool that you could play as Eggman in this game. Eggman! Because he is the Eggman. It's what he am. See, I wonder if I can find any, uh, what's it called, uh, speed-related uh, animals in this level. That would be great. Be good for Eggster. Actually, let's do a really cool trick. You want to skip this shit really easy? There you go. <laughs> That's one way to do it. It's right here. Don't worry. It's because I didn't have the, uh, you know, the bazooka. This should give me laser blaster. Lock on missile power up. Missile spreads as it explodes to destroy enemies in a wider area. We're technically going to need it for, uh, you know, getting A ranks in later levels. But, you know, it works out that way. It's kind of cool that Eggman has more upgrades than Tails. But Tails doesn't have any protection armor, so it's kind of sad. Either way, uh, we got the Flame Ring. I guess we should do this for Rouge. We got to go back to Security Hall. Oh, but she needs her Mystic Melody beforehand. So we can't do that, but I can go ahead and go get her Mystic Melody. This one actually seems pretty goddamn easy. Pretty goddamn easy is we must go back to Dry Lagoon. Dry Goon. Don't Goon. No. No. Stop. Stop. Take a look and listen. <laughs> Knuckles is back with a brand new invention. Okay, so, um... I think I just go over here, right? Boink. There you go. 
Give myself the Mystic Melody. Oh, her boobs jiggle when she gets it. That's all I've ever cared about. Anyway, open up this shit. Opens up a portal that we can just get the fuck out of here with. Very nice, very nice. There's like nothing else to do here, I'm leaving. There's nothing else to do here, I'm leaving. Let's see, which means that I can go back to Security Hall and I can go ahead and get myself a different power-up. Security Hall always gave me such fucking trouble when I was a kid, but nowadays, I can complete this thing in like five seconds. I know how to do it that easily. Don't worry, Doctor, I'm fine. Fuck off. It's this one. Can you please stop being electrified? Okay, so you just use the Mystic Melody here. Ah, there you go. It's because it's like, I think we already saw that during the regular playthrough, but uh, we couldn't get through here due to the fact that we didn't have the, uh, the iron boots yet. There we go. Well, there you go. Treasure scope. See things that you couldn't see before. Change the action window with the Y button. Press B to use. Just jump to take them off. This is like Knuckles' uh, like sunglasses and stuff. So that's why we wanted to get them because it's going to be used to get like you know power ups and shit like that or complete extra stages. So now I can go ahead. Well, now all of Rouge's stuff is done. I can go ahead and do uh, Eggman's Mystic Melody. There we go. Go back to Sand Ocean. Um, let's see. Let me 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 see. All right. So from here, I don't know where I need to go. I guess maybe over to the right. Let's see. Is it over here? Or is it just like a random animal? No, I think this actually is the direction I need to go. Well, that's good that I, that I guessed on it. And this fucking random dude died. Can you fucking die? Let's see, is this the correct way? I don't know. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. It's somewhere along the main path, then. Let's see. Let me just, uh... There you go. Do some nice skips. <laughs> just, I mean, once you have, like, the hovering shit... Skips in the uh, the mech stages are so much easier to perform. Yeah, fuck you. I'm being extremely like uh, like <laughs> like bad at this right now. I'm just like trying to get through it quick and stuff like that because it's just like, man, I just want my Mystic Melody. Let's see. Did that get it? Yep, it's coming. Yep, it's coming. Wonder what would happen if you tried to sit directly underneath that? It'd be really funny really funny, you would die. You know, I'm okay with that. Let's see. Oh, there's an animal box over there. Anything cool? No, it's just a peacock. Man, I am really shitting at this right now, am I? I'm just not caring enough. I'm like, nah. I'm just like, I just want the melody. Give me it. Let's see. I don't know where I'm going. Let's see. Uh, take a trip on the spinning platform and on the spinning platform and step off when you see the picture to the right. You know, I don't. I don't. Which spinning platform? <laughs> like the spinning platform at the very beginning? Is that the one you meant? Because I can drown myself. I don't think that's the one you meant like skipping right now because I'm just like I don't want to just kill Let's see I don't know where I'm supposed to go I guess it's you're one of the one of the things also why the fuck did he disappear so quickly is it the one over that way not that way but this way okay maybe this is what they meant Maybe this is what they meant. Maybe they didn't. Oh, damn. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going, but, uh... I'm going. This must not be where I'm supposed to be. 
<laughs> I'm like, where am I? I don't know. Maybe like a video walkthrough would work better for me. Let me see. Eggman, Mystic, Melody. Because I need to figure out where in the shit I need to go to find this thing. It's at the very beginning, I think. Yeah, it's at the very beginning. I knew it. It was just it was just the wrong way. Wrong way, Johnson needs to get the fuck out of here. I skipped over that shit by accident. It seems like it usually is at the very beginning of a level. So it's like you just have to just have to pay attention, I guess. It's over to the left, not over to the right. I was close with my approximation. It wasn't it just like it just wasn't the correct direction. You just didn't have the correct erection, sir. They're like bombing the shit out of this area. All right, Mystic Melody. It's weird that he can activate a Mystic Mel Misting Melody, Mystic Melody, just because like you know he's a fucking bad guy. But then again, you know all bad guys. But it, what what did they say in Hunt Down the Freeman? Isn't the villain a hero in his own story? It's like no, that that's not how that works. No, no, no. Anyway, got his Mystic Melody. Very nice. I think all that's left is Shadow's missing, mel missing melody. Well, that too. But the his mystic melody. Go ahead. Head over to Final Chase. Let's see. Um. Okay, so I need to go to the part of the stage where you climb up those, like, gravity wells. Like, really high up. So, we'll go ahead and see if that's close, if that's far away. Either way, we get to go ahead and fucking grind about again. Boink. Just boink. You see, if he had the Mystic Melody, this would be... Or not the Mystic Melody. If he had the Bounce Bracelet, this would be great. Because that would mean that he'd be able to, like, you know, get up these things way easier. There you go, fuckhead. There you go, fuckhead. <laughs> Damn. Final Chase is a lot harder than uh, Final Rush, if you don't know. Let's see. There you go. Oh, wait. No, that's a power. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for speed type animals, and uh, well, they're not work. They're, they're not working out too well. My search is coming up a little bit blank. Don't worry, we'll get it. There we go. Oh shit! I'm like shit. No, they're coming to stab me again. Please, please, Shadow. Please stop having problems with the gravity. The gravity is not working well for Shudao. I was unable to attach to those ones up there. Fuck. Okay. That's not... I wanted to go pretty quick. Damn it, I died. Shadow, how could you die like that? Don't worry. I got the higher path. We're going to take the higher path. There we go. Save my ass a little bit of time. There we go. <laughs> I forgot how many artificial chaos there were in this fucking level. Let's see. Come on, Shadow, jump in the hole. Get on the rock. Let's see. There we go. I think we're near. Yeah, because this is the part of the area where you have to jump really high up with Shadow. Like you're you're fucking increasing in height every minute. Oh, it's just a penguin. Okay. That's not a speed-related animal. Shit! Fucking hell. Shadow, you bounce. Uh, you don't have the bounce bracelet, you, you, but you bounce all over the place, my friend. All right. This is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to, like, be a ball when I got off here, but, uh, you know, that's okay, because I know <laughs> some of the glitches. Okay, somehow I made it past that. Very good, very good. Very good stove. Okay. But it's like you're going really high up. I think it's right there. Yeah, oh, I already have it. Oh, I didn't even know I had it. That works out. If you guys didn't know where it was, this is where it was. I guess I just knew. I just knew, damn it, I just knew. So there was no point in doing this. I was just making myself frustrated for no reason. 
because I hate these stupid gravity puzzles. Anyway, I guess I already had it. <laughs> I mean, then again, it's been a while since I last played, so it's like, dang. It's like, I do not remember. Anyway, we're probably going to end this episode here because we've been going on like 50 minutes. So, we've got a lot accomplished here. We've got every single upgrade in the game, which means now we can actually start the grind to getting every single mission complete. So, that's definitely going to be something. I don't know how that. I don't know how that's going to work. Probably going to have to work at like one level per episode to get every single A rank and stuff like that. Like do an episode on City Escape, do an episode on Radical Highway, do an episode on Route 280, do a route on 101. All this stuff until like we get them all done. But yeah, that's going to take a while. But just be expecting that. So either way, I don't have much else to say. And before I end this episode, I want to thank all of my YouTube members, including the Disciples of Epsilon, Valric, Amber, and Fenix, the Epsilon Sage, Spirit Rosewolf. Without you all, this channel wouldn't stay afloat. So thank you for all your support, and I'll see you guys next time!